<laughs> as long as I can. Oh my god, baby! I can't even sing without this guy being crazy. You're crazy! <laughs> as long as I can dream. <laughs> Do you not like my singing? There's a better word. <laughs> sing around Loki because he gets upset <laughs> so, or maybe he doesn't get upset he likes to join in and bark at me he also does this thing like if my I swear he's like a reincarnated of something but when my when my when my bed isn't made he'll pee on it but when my bed is properly made he won't pee on it I don't know what's wrong with him what's wrong with you what's wrong with you Okay, so I'm just doing a video, whatever, a random video. Guys, the bag that we sold. This is a BMW Rare Limited Edition M3. M, no, M bag. I thrifted this, I think, almost two years ago. Yeah, almost two years ago. And it just recently sold. I took a best offer of $250. I listed it for $350. Guys from New York want it immediately, so I need to ship it today. He messaged me, like, early in the morning, like, around... 5 a.m. and I didn't get it I didn't respond till 9 and then he paid right away and he's like can you please ship it right away because it's for my bur brother's birthday so um I took a video of it just to make sure that everything is you know there's no damage on it um but it is a really nice bag it's like a linen and blend so that's kind of like unique and it's like has a sheen to it I put the strap inside already and then I went to my um recycling bin and i found these two boxes i don't think it's gonna fit in this one but i do think it will fit in this one so yeah we're gonna ship it out today i did make it look pretty like he paid 250 dollars, so it needs to look freaking pretty um yeah I, it's i thrifted that for like eight bucks i believe it was like well it was like 10 and then i used like a two dollar off coupon plus tax but yeah, that took forever to sell. Um, but then again, like I didn't really list it on eBay immediately. I think I list, I thrifted it in like months later, like almost half a year later, I uh, I listed it on eBay, so. Loki likes to bark over there by the, by the linen closet. And that's where my, my dog that passed away used to sleep, so. I'm thinking it's like his ghost and Loki sees his ghost and he just keeps barking at it because it's another dog. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Cause he just literally barks at nothing. So I think it's Pal. And because he's white and fluffy too, maybe he's like, you know, there should only be one me in here. Loki, there's enough, there's, there's enough room for both of you. Pal and you, okay? You hear me? Loki. You hear me? Leave Pal's ghost alone, okay? Leave Pal's ghost alone. Unless you guys are playing, then that's fine. There it goes running off. Um, you know what I find too? Someone just I just sold a camera. I sold this camera, touch screen, um, a lot of low ball offers on it, but some uh, Y2K teen girly who wanted to get it. I find that every single person who is like a Y2K young person, like between 16 to like 22, who's purchased from me has all been, okay, I'm gonna turn down the, I'm gonna turn down my Dyson pen. Um, has like their profile has nothing. Like there's no pictures, there's no nothing. There's no updates. It's literally like a blank profile, which normally I would find sketch, but now I find that that's the norm. I think like out of all the cameras I've sold, 80 to 90% have been like nothing on their profile. But apparently Daniel, because Daniel's in that same kind of age bracket range, he said that that's like the new trend for like teens is like nothing on Facebook. They just use it for like marketplace. <laughs> anyway, that's really interesting if you ask me. So I bought this. It's a write-off because it's business expenses, but I'm going to wrap... How are we going to do this? We're going to wrap it um, like this. There we go. That'll fit. Yes. 
that needs to go out today because I said it would go out today. It's Daniel's event today. I was going to stop by, but I don't know. It's too hot and I already supported him by helping him advertise. So <laughs> I'll go to his next one. I went to his other one. He had, well, no, I didn't go to that one because we weren't talking that week. But his event before that in June, I went to that one and I helped him. So plus I think he has his girlfriend there so she could help him. <laughs> Plus, he didn't message me to come down. So if he had messaged me to come down, I probably would have come down. But since he hasn't messaged me to come down because I, I think it's busy, then I ain't coming down. So it's a little far for me. Plus, I had stuff to do. Oh, and plus, yeah, I had stuff to do. I had to go get Loki um, a um, a name tag because my sister is going to walk him, I believe, when I'm gone. And just in case like he escapes or something or some shit. He has a name tag on because he doesn't have he doesn't wear a collar and he doesn't have a name tag but i have i put i post where's that name tag i want to see it i'll show you guys it's super cute i chose like a like a student body kind of font it's really cool <laughs> not cool loki and then all my information's on the back i have my i couldn't fit my address well i could i guess but i didn't want to put my address on here just because um in case like i plan on moving next year hopefully to like a better apartment. So um, I don't, then, I, then this would have been a waste of money. So I just put my phone number and my email address. I feel like that's good enough. Okay. Should I put this in like a, do I have like a plastic bag of some sort? I think just, I want to put it in a dust bag, but at the same time, I don't really want to waste a dust bag. I think I'll just wrap it like this. What do you guys think? I mean, I feel like that's decent. It's just wrapping it in bubble wrap like this. So I watched 16 Candles yesterday. And I liked it. It was a pretty good movie. Very generic 80s. But, um... Okay, that works perfectly. There we go. And I'll just put some tissue paper. Okay. Yeah, so I watched it. It was good. Um, I posted on my story. I was like, I was a kid of the 80s. I know a lot of you guys were probably teens of the 80s. Um, but yeah, I was a kid in the 80s. I was like 89. So that would have been like, I would have been like six. But um, no, this isn't a treat, baby. Yeah, I give props to anybody who survived the 80s as a teen because people were just so mean in the 80s as teens. I mean, they were in the 90s too, but at least there was some progression in the 90s. 80s, there was like literally zero progression in the 80s. Like you could get bullied, you could get picked on, and nobody ain't going to do shit. Even like in the 90s, like I remember vividly, this was like 97, I think, 96, 97. My best friend at the time, she had went to, aw, you look so cute. Aww. She had went to, skipped school. She skipped school with us. And then the next day we were in class. Her mother comes bursting into the, into the classroom, drags her out of the room by her hair. Okay. And then like, I literally remember, everybody's like, what? And then like, I remember the teacher saying, it's a family issue, leave them alone or some, something like that. Wasn't that crazy? That a parent can just like abuse their kid right in school and have it be allowed. But that was like the 90s. Like imagine it in like the 80s. Um, but yeah. Can you believe like me in high school? So grade 9, 10, no, grade 11, 12, no wait, grade 10, 11, 12. I literally did not step foot in my cafeteria because I've watched enough freaking high school movies to know that that is where you freaking get bullied and tormented. So, you know, I remember only setting foot in my cafeteria. Like, I think it was like the last day of school or the last week of school just to see what it was like down there. And yeah, I wasn't about to get freaking bullied and shit. But, 
yeah, I never ate in the cafeteria of my high school ever. It was not happening. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I see it shining and in my dreams I see there's a better world. Oh, there's a better world as long as I can dream. I've been obsessed with like adult contemporary songs of the 90s. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's the music I grew up with. See it shining. Oh, guys, I am obsessed with the new season of Big Brother. Ah! Can you believe it? Love Big Brother. I've been watching Big Brother since season one, and that was like in 2000. Um, but I love it so much. I love Big Brother. It's my favorite show. One of my favorite shows of all time. I watched it last year. Watched the year before, but late, late. Anyway, here's a package. We're going to mail it out to New York. And um, yeah, so we did a really good sale. So we turned $8 into $2.50. Only had to wait about two years for that to happen, but it happened nonetheless. What is the lesson of the day is... Patience is virtue, and good things come to those who wait <laughs> in terms of sales and in terms of love. 